My name is Imani Robinson and um, my reflection is called The Black Drift. I stepped into the cool opening of the door of no return. My feet landed where my thoughts were. This is the trick of the door, to step through and be where you want to be. Our ancestors were bewildered because they had a sense of their origins, some country, some village, some family where they belonged and from which they were rent. We, on the other hand, have no such immediate sense of belonging, only of drift. I'm returning to old work, to the old work of returning, remembering in and of the drift. Books leave gestures in the body, a certain way of moving, of turning, a certain closing of the eyes, a way of leaving, hesitations. I have been thinking and working with a concept I call the black drift, which is in its simplest form, an invitation to think through and to try to hold the phenomenon of black people moving through time and space. And not just this, but the attending reckoning that we might do with materiality, with embodiment, with affect. It is a method through which I can ruminate on the present, which is really indistinguishable from the past, which is another way of saying that I am speaking about the future, lest we stay drifting on this ship forever, always and already. Drift, rift, raft, overboard, shipped. The black drift could be described as a kind of call and response to psychogeographical notions of derive and flaneur, thinking through the non-ability of black people to drift or loiter and, think, and linking it to a philosophical understanding of anti-blackness, violence, fungibility, captivity, surveillance and notions of human non-being. The flaneur is the loiterer, who permits the black sentient to loiter. Here now the names of the dead, the named as criminals, the sex workers, the working mothers, the black working class and the black non-workers. My intention in working with the black drift is not meant merely to add or locate the black sentient to an otherwise lacking discourse, but rather to think through and with the black sentient and black sentience in the wake of transatlantic slavery, in located spaces as it moves through space and through time, in the both already fated and in the spontaneous. The Black Drift deals with what it means to navigate the total climate of anti-blackness and to do so thinking with and in wake work. Are you awake? Drift, drift, rift, drift, rift, raft, drift, rift, raft, riffraff, drift, rift, raft, riffraff, overboard, drift, rift, Raft, riffraff, overboard, shipped, tree cut out or hollowed out, to cut, split, mothership, that which has given birth to anything, mother wit, common sense, to contain, to grasp, to retain, to observe, fulfill, to possess, control, rule, to detain, lock up, to foster, cherish, to keep, tend, watch over, to have and to hold, moist, soft earth, husk, pod, shell, filth, dregs, something driven, a delay, a pause, hold, support, custody, guarding, watching, keeping, laying hold of, a taking, course, current, enclosure, price, value, worth, reward, a taking hold, a grasp, close in on, compel or urge to move, impel in some direction or manner, to imprison, hence to confine, hem in, to hunt, pursue, to rush against, energy, labour actively, 
pushing from behind to police these fresh borders, an inexorable tragedy, a kind of inevitable failure, palpable delusion, scarifications mirrored in scarifications, is dread the equivalent of beauty in the diaspora. We have no ancestry except the black water and the door of no return. In dreams, I keep getting myself into trouble. As I look ahead, I am filled with foreboding. Like the Roman, I seem to see the river Tiber foaming with much blood. Rivers of blood, rivers of blood, rivers of blood. I am that cargo, and I is the cargo, and I was am is still. I was am is and cargo still. My mother is a liar, liar and she's not fooling me. This is what happens in the dark, between dust and books and soil, left vulnerable to misinterpretation. Is this too a tactic? To the labour play of prayerful solutions, aghast, empty, disbelieving believers, containers of the lost colony, found over and again in jest, unjust, extrapolated and fed to children, to pigs rolled around and worn, as masks are and are not. There is a growing or overbrooding presence of avenging blacks. We handle it. We leave it glaringly untouched. We circumvent it, whether one is being asked to dance or whether one is being ordered to conjugate a verb in another language. A carceral state is one that seeks to know everything about its inhabitants and visitors, but hides everything about itself. It demands transparency of everything except its own operations. As suddenly and as quietly your eyes shift from conjuring a city to save you, Suddenly and as quietly everything is passing, all you've lived, and you are sitting in the lap of something big, some intimacy. These formations constituted through material, political and economic processes, formations that produce power and inequity, state-sanctioned thresholds of pain, elaborate money-making schemes, exclusion, hierarchy, dispossession, we have perfected something each of us something different. One drives through lost paths, one asks the way redundantly, one floats and looks, one floats and looks, one looks and floats, one looks and floats. Look at them, redressing the pain body, marvelling at their ability to learn and to forget.